I'm back. That's right. I am finally back. My jury services, jury dutying services are finally over. What was supposed to be a week and a half long really was only supposed to last one week and then into a Monday. Actually ended up turning into two weeks. Almost went into three weeks, but I am back. I am done. Thank God that is over with because it was so stressful. And naturally I'm back and I am sick. Right around this time, like clockwork, ever since I was a little kid, I got sick with a really bad sinus infection. It happens every year. And the end of September also happens to be my birthday. So it's kind of like I'm allergic to my birthday. But okay, anyways, all that out of the way. Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ and I'm an adult doll and toy collector who just wants to talk about dolls and toys. And this channel is made for adult, adult, adult doll and toy collectors wouldn't be a video if I didn't mess up saying something but I thought I would come back finally and just do a little mini birthday haul for you guys so let's get started all right first up we are going to take a look at the books that I got for my birthday because if you didn't know I love books I'm a huge bookworm I guess but first up we have a little book light G got me this for me to read when I'm out in the living room because we don't have the best lighting in this house like the way our house sits when the sun rises we get no light when the sun sets we got no light so I have a little book light now so I'm not like straining my eyes trying to read while I'm sitting in the living room and it is a little rechargeable book light like where's the part that comes off to charge it right here it's like a little USB rechargeable book light we got it in purple because I thought it was cute this part, like, I guess clips onto your book. I've already been using it. This kind of, like, flips down, turns, and there are three light modes. So, one, two, three. I usually have a third one. It's like a warm light setting. But, yeah, I thought that was so sweet of him to get me a little book light. Next, we have the little golden books. This is the Mean Girls one. This is actually for LA, but I kind of wanted it too. But this is one of her, like... Christmas slash birthday present so she doesn't know anything about it but I thought it was so cute that they made a Mean Girls one and I will say I did read it I did look through it um a lot of what happened in the movie is not in this book they really toned it down as it is supposed to be geared towards kids like that scene where she gets hit by a bus that's not in here that's not in here at all uh the scene where they cut the holes in the tank top that's not in here so if you saw this and you were worried if it was going to be very much toned down and geared towards kids, it is. So there's that. But it is cute. Like, I think the little illustrations are cute. So yeah, got that. Next book I have is called A Little Life. And I heard that really you should have a box of Kleenex next to you if you read this book. Because this book has you root in and everything for the main character and then just stuff happens one after the other but I heard it's also very very good so I did get it this came from Walmart I think it was like $13 you can find it on Target and you can find it on Amazon as well next book I have seen all over TikTok and everyone likes it everyone doesn't like it but the reviews where they have negative things to say about it like those negative reviews really get me because I didn't see one single positive review about the fourth wing. I just saw nothing but negative reviews. And those negative reviews made me want to read it to find out for myself. It was really, if it was really that bad. And I read it and I loved it. Loved it. I can't get enough of it. So yeah, I got Iron Flame and I just started reading it. So I happen to like the fourth wing. I'm sorry if you don't. But this is Carval. Carval. I don't even know how to say it, but... It sounded super, super good, even though everyone says it's not, but I thought it sounded good, so I got it. And naturally, I got the Monster High Once Bitten Twice Dead book. I have seen, again, nothing but negative reviews about this book, and let me tell you, the negative reviews, I don't even know if they're supposed to be negative reviews, because... Negative reviews make me want to read it even more. So I got it and I'm going to see just how good it is. Supposedly this is supposed to tie in with G1. So I'm really interested to see exactly how this ties in with that. And I got 
the fourth wing paperback book. I have it in hardcover, but I got it in paperback because there are, I think, three or four chapters in here that are from Zayden's point of view that aren't in the hardcover that I own. They were only released in the holiday edition hardcover, and I am about to drop $80 for a hardcover edition book. I can't do it. But another reason why I wanted this besides the bonus content in here is the edges of the book are dragons. And I'm going to put this on my bookshelf with this side peeking out because I'm, I just really, the only reason why I got it is for the bonus content and, and that. So yeah, <laughs> might be a really dumb reason to purchase a book, but I do plan on getting, you know, when they release Iron Flame and Onyx Storm in paperback, I will be getting them paperback. I do have Onyx Storm already on pre-order through Target. <laughs> what can I say? I really love the fourth wing books. And in keeping with the theme of the fourth wing merchandise, I guess, I got a tote bag. I'm already using it. It's all, it's this basically my purse right now, so it's got all the stuff in it, but this is what it looks like. And it says a dragon without its writer is a tragedy. A writer, a writer without their dragon is dead because that plays in in Fourth Wing. Um, if you haven't read it, read it. It's actually a pretty decent book. But the cover, like you can see, it's lightning, and we got the dragons on it and stuff like that. So yeah, I have really started using tote bags or canvas bags like this because I one, I like them. Two, I'm trying to kind of stay away from using backpacks because I notice every time that I use a backpack, someone, mainly my fiance, is always like, can you hold this for me? I don't have, my pockets aren't deep enough. Can you hold this for me? I don't want to hold it. Can you hold that for me? And then, you know, naturally LA is like, oh, I didn't bring my purse. Can you hold my phone? And my backpack, which was super light, is now like two times the weight than it normally was and it's hurting my back. So I notice if I carry bags like that, nobody asks me to hold their stuff. So... That's just, I guess, a little mom hack there for you. And G got me this shirt. I've already worn it. So there's probably cat hair on it, probably somewhere, but this shirt. It's got the name of the college from the book. And as you can see, it has the two dragons on it. And this is what the back looks like. Goes down your spine with all the dragons. It is very soft. We did find it on Amazon. I was a little worried, but... It's very soft. Um, it is an oversized type shirt. So I got a small because of it being so oversized. And a small is almost even too big for me. But I still love it. And in this little pouch, I got a new necklace. And there it is. It's the two dragons keeping up with the fourth wing merch. G took me to Ford's garage for my birthday dinner and I was wearing this shirt. I had the purse and I had this around my neck and I was like, yeah, I feel badass right now, even though I probably look like a complete nerd. But there was a lady there who noticed the stuff I was wearing and pointed me out to her mom and said, she's wearing the fourth wing shirt that I want. And she has a fourth wing tote bag. But the minute I turned around when she said that and I looked at her, she like looked the other way. I guess she felt like a little embarrassed. I don't know. But yeah, that's all my fourth wing merch. <laughs> okay, so these next three items are from my mom. She sent me, she paints and she draws and stuff like that. So she made a little mini canvas of Eeyore for my grandmother who celebrated her heavenly birthday this year. So she made me a little, a little Eeyore painting in memory of her. And because she knows I love the morbid and creepy stuff, she made me a little bat painting holding a little trick-or-treat uh, pumpkin pail. So, and she put it in a little frame. So I am going to hang this up on my wall. I thought that was really sweet of her. She every year, or not every year, but every time she sends like a little care package, she always includes like one of her little drawings in there. And even this one right here. It's three cats that she drew and I hang it up. And then I have a couple of her paintings hanging up too. And then she sent me a briar horse that my cats have already laid on. It's a box, a bag, paper. Cats go crazy for it and lay on it. But 
This is an FFA, which I guess is Agriculture Education. And this horse's name is Applegate, which is a really, I think is really cute. But that's what it looks like. She knows me in LA, collect the Briar horses. So got that. That's everything she sent me for my birthday. Two, two little paintings and a little Briar horse, which I thought was really sweet because she didn't have to do, especially since she was in the middle of planning for the hurricane that hit Florida. I mean, she was right in the direction for that, like went directly over her. She's okay. They lost a little bit of their roof. And they had some trees fall down but other than that she is okay so that's all that matters okay these next two items are from walmart here's the thing when people ask me right out of the blue what do you want for your birthday i'm always like oh i don't know because it's not something that i is on my mind and i can't like answer right away i'm always like give me a second let me think so you, typically what we do is G will just take me shopping to like Walmart or Target or have me scroll through Amazon and find something. So these two items did come from Walmart. First up is Kiss and, and the Kiss and Press Press on Nails. That is what I wear. I do not go and get my nails professionally done. Like, no, mm -mm. I do it myself. Sometimes you can definitely tell they are not professionally done. Other times they come out looking really decent. And I do actually have people ask me like, Who, where did you go to get those done? I want my nails done exactly like that. Or can I take a picture of your nails and show them to my whatever you call a person who does nails? A manicurist? I don't know. Um, yeah, these are all Halloween ones. And they glow in the dark. And I didn't know that until the other day when I was like, what is what is on me that is going my nails but I do not usually go for like French tips like I always go for like color but I decided let me try some French tips so I got those and then because I am definitely in like my dragon rider era but I also do love dragons I got one of the McFarlane toys dragons this is the eternal clan and it's just like this really big intricate statue of a dragon like there's not much more to it it's just this big intricate statue of a dragon and i thought it was just really really cool looking so but it is not a toy it says 14 and up not a toy so yeah I'm, i am gonna take it out of the box and maybe put it on my bookshelf by my fourth wing books even though it's not a fourth wing dragon we'll make it a fourth wing dragon <laughs> all right and these last items are dolls yes we have finally made it to the doll so first up we have cleo the brand new uh re-release not re-release but release of cleo like her i forgot what it's called like you know like they're going into their second semester of high school i guess i completely forgot what these are called but she is not available anywhere in store not walmart not target she is unavailable on amazon and it says we don't know when or if this item will be back in stock but i was able to get her target online so i'm really happy that i finally have her because this is one that i've been wanting and haven't been able to find so happy to finally have her and next up this came from the amazon warehouse so it is an open package but I kind of already own this doll, but I just wanted this doll for her body. And that's this one. Because I already have her. I already got her. But there is a doll who I want to pop their head off and put them on a main poop body. And this is the only skin tone that she matches very, very well. So, yeah, I bought this from the Amazon warehouse. As you can tell, the hair is just all over the place in here. So I don't really mind if there's no stand in here, no certificate of authenticity, because I just want the body. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. And next up, we have the Care Bears Cutie Review, Re Barbie Care Bears Cutie Reveal Doll. There we go. This is Grumpy Bear. Grumpy Bear is actually my favorite Care Bear. Fun fact of the day for you guys. I love Grumpy Bear. Grumpy Bear is my spirit animal. So there's that. And it is Grumpy Bear that is in there because I can tell by the little blue tuft of hair right up there. So 
glad I finally have that because these are supposed to be supposedly they're like oh available at Walmart where where because not in my Walmart so I had to resort to getting it off of Amazon which is fine with me so these last two items were just a shock when I found them in the aisle these came from Ollie's but they once you see them you will know if you are somebody who collected dolls in the past stuff like that especially brats you will know right away this is dead stock where they got this from I don't know but best believe I snatched the only like two designs that they had off the shelf real quick there is still more I didn't get the whole the whole stand but I got the two that they had and that is these the Bratzilla's Switch a Witch which is kind of like the Monster High Create a Monster Bratzilla's came out to compete with Monster High that's all there is to it you, you can't make me change my mind that's what happened there and Switch Witch was like the Monster High Create a Monster Monster High did it first but I always wanted a Bratzilla I still do want a Bratzilla but every time I find a Bratzilla it's either missing pieces broken or an asinine amount of money which I get it they don't make them anymore these were found at Ollie's for all of you probably can't even say that but they were $7.99 each originally what they say $14.99 each which that's a, that's a decent deal so this one looks like this and it is different while they're both pink or not pink while they're both yellow and white they are actually different this one has a star around one eye and this one does not have a star around any eye and the eyeballs are different colors so they're different and I was so happy when I found these I was like what the f, f word there in the aisle at Ollie's and G was like what and I was like this is dead stock these aren't made anymore I was like so excited he goes so you're definitely you definitely want those and I was like oh my god yes I definitely do so yeah super excited that I was able to find these but that was my little mini birthday haul. I am so happy that I am finally back and jury duty is done and over with. I do plan on making a video about jury duty and what you can expect if you have jury duty because when I was trying to research what jury duty was and what I should expect, I found absolutely nothing. So I kind of just want to make a video just to kind of inform others and I can can talk about the case now because the case is done and over with I am not sworn to secrecy anymore I'm allowed to post on social media so yeah super excited about super excited about being done with jury duty if that makes any sense because if you are someone who is watching this and you have had jury duty you know that it is it is a pretty pretty stressful process especially depending on what case you have You've got civil, criminal, or federal. I didn't have federal and I didn't have civil. I had criminal. And it was a murder case. Caught me by surprise. First time ever getting jury duty. I'm like, I ain't gonna get picked. I ain't gonna get picked. I'm just gonna sit there. No, I got picked. I got picked. And I didn't get picked as an alternate either. I ended up just doing the whole thing from start to finish. And it was a lot it was a lot so but putting that out of the way let me know down below which one of these items that I got for my birthday is your favorite and in case if you are wondering how old I turned I am 35 turned 35 years old and boy do I feel it <laughs> but let me know which item is your favorite all that kind of stuff and I hope to see you in the next video love you bye